Yes indeed you are watching Lockpicking Legend and I'm sorry the video's a bit late but if you imagine I make a video every two weeks rather than every week then this video is early. Yeah, a bit of a glass half empty, glass half full kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Now, <laughs> excuses out the way. As lock pickers, I've no doubt you've had the situation where you're just bedding down for the night, the phone rings, it's your mate, he's had a few jars. Hello, I, was, I tell you what, I've only gone and lost my key. I was wondering, rather than fork out 300 nicker for a locksmith, you could come round and have a look at it. And you're thinking, oh, no, 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 no. And, you know, he's drunk, he's going to torture, he's going to expect you to go in after you've got him in, he's going to carry on drinking, he's going to expect you to drink up all night with him. And uh, But he's a mate and you want to help him out. So first thing I say is, right, have you got a decent lever lock on your door? I'm hoping he says yes, because then I can say I can't do it, get a professional. He says, nah. I'm thinking, oh, God. I said, right, so you've got like a night latch. He went, what's that? I said, a Yale lock. Now, you know what I mean. You know, people think that if you say Yale lock, they think pins... If you, <laughs> you know what I mean. If you say to a non-lock picker, a Yale lock, they'll, they'll identify that as a pin cylinder. And he went, yeah. I said, right, does it have a curved bit of brass that goes into the the door frame? He went, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I thought, right, so you have got the lowest possible security. I mean, you might as well lean a shoe up against your door to keep intruders out. So I said, all right, mate, no worries, I'll pop round. I've gone round there, I've taken an empty bottle of Coca-Cola and a pair of scissors, I've chopped a bit out, I've shimmed it, and he's in. And he's gone, whoa, what, what is this, like some kind of Jason Bourne? And I was like, yeah, yeah, it is like a bit, a bit like that, yeah. A bit of Jason Bourne, a bit of James Bond, a bit of Houdini. And uh, I said, listen, this is not secure. You're protecting your family and possessions with something that's nothing. Get a decent five lever chub or something. Get a night latch that deadlocks. You know, this is no good. He went, all right, I'll do all that. Had a couple of drinks with him. 12 hours later, <laughs> stumbled home. Anyway, a couple of weeks later, of course, he ignored all of my advice because he had a friend of a friend of a friend who said, I've got some high security locks I'm selling. And he sent me a photo of the key. And this is it. Right? Now, I can understand to him that looks, whoa. Compared to his, his lock was actually like an era night latch. But compared to that, this thing looks like this. We're going back to Jason Bourne here. This, this, this is this. Is, to his eyes, this is a this is a high security lock. I said, "Did you get the lever lock sorted out?" He went, "No, I don't need it. Look, I've got this thing. Look at it. Look at it." And uh, well, I uh, got myself one off eBay. Let's have a look at it. Look at it, look at it. <laughs> so this video is really about how you can be very deceived by something that is nothing. Let's go. So coming in at a, a whopping six ninety nine off of eBay, I got myself one of these NR dimple locks. And you know, understandably to a, a novice, it looks high security. I mean, dimple locks are a bit of a blag anyway. They're only pin cylinders with the key turned 90 degrees. And, and because of that, they tend to have quite bad tolerances. I'm going to use this top wrench. This is 2 mil, And it's actually very good for dimple locks. It actually holds in there. Incredible. Um, and this is called a thunder rake. It's for dimple locks, but usually you have to use the walding, but you just have a little fiddle about with this one. He paid 40 quid for his. Off of his dodge. Oh, gosh. 
I mean, that a- anyone can do that. If I gave you that wrench, that lock, that vice, that rake, you've done. Anyone can do that. And there's loads of these for sale on eBay. Let's take it apart and see what's inside. I won't. Um, I won't force you to see my terrible gutting technique. But uh, I'll speed this up and I'll get back to it. Una memento. And here we are. You can see the little seven, <laughs> seven pin high security lock um, in all its glory. I mean, what have we got? I, I, I'm thinking... Mushrooms, torpedoes, serrated spools. I, I, I could have probably, I should have done it with a cotton bud. Not in the least bit surprised. These are all just standard pins. These are all these are standard. The lot of them. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the drivers. I'll speed this up a bit as well because this can be a bit... Oh, just a standard. No, actually, we'll just go through this. You can see my awesome technique. I know you can get pinning tweezers with the fancy ends, but I find they're no good. I find you've got to make more effort to get hold of the pins. We all know how to use a pair of tweezers. Don't insult me with your special tweezers. And these are all standard too. Kel Surprise. Nothing. Just... No surprises. And there's something extra interesting about this, because not only did I talk about the tolerances, can you see that they've got curved ends, rounded off ends? And I got into a bit of a chat with a mate about that because I said to him, that's what, that makes them easier to pick, having those round ends. And he, he said, well, how'd you work that out? And I will now show you. Because in many ways, this is the most interesting bit of the video. What makes a badly made cheap lot? easier to pick I mean that's not the greatest bit of machining <laughs> but there's something about the rounded ends that I've zoomed in here have a look at them I'll show you a still it'll be better to show you a still so my point was that those rounded ends make it easier to set and it certainly with raking or jiggling and now what I'm gonna do I'll show you, well, I want to show you my bodge up first, because bodge ups are funny. I wanted to make a video to show my mate how those pins designed like that uh, are, are easy, easily exploitable, and it kind of went wrong, and I, I think it's only fair you see it, because it's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, I've made a lot of very good cross sections on this channel, but this ain't one of them. I wanted a demo. <laughs> Look at the state of that lock. I just dragged an old cross section out and some pins off. Well, the pins out of this not high security lock. And, like, this wasn't meant to be for public consumption, so forgive me, but it's such a mess. Look, I. I- <laughs> this will show him. This will show him why rounded pins. <laughs> Enough! I can't take any more of that. Hang on. I mean, I <laughs> I did persevere with it. I <laughs> good. This is why my video's late because I spent about four hours fiddling around with this nonsense. But I. I, I've done it right, here we go. So you might remember this core from the, the, the cross section video I've done about serrated cores. You can see the serrations down there. But look at that pin, look at the curve on it. And, and this is what I mean about, th- these are the details that make cheap, badly 
made locks easy to pick or rake or jiggle look at that I've only got that there's the spring bounce so that's set remember the spring bounce I'll put the video in the top corner now if you want to learn about uh, about set bounce sorry I'll put that link that in the top corner but you've only got to get that tiny little bit of the edge on and because it's rounded like that and this is exaggerated because I want to make a point Look, you've only it, because of that shape, you've only got to have that little tiny bit there, like there. That's done. That's that job's the good in there. Because I can just turn that wrench, and the pin. There you go. The pin does half the work for you. So that's one of the details of why cheap locks with pins made like that. Or a load of old rubbish now you might think that that's the end of this video you know I've made my point that a key that looks to uh, to, to the uninitiated in the world of lock picking as a higher security lock is actually pants and that the lock itself has got those rounded pins that actually is one of the reasons why they're easier to pick rake whatever but there's even more. There's something even weirder in this lock. And some of you might have noticed it when I was raking it. Although I deliberately didn't draw attention to it. Now if you're easily offended by the ridiculous things people do to locks. Close your eyes now. <laughs> I mean look. Can you see what they've done? They've cut into that. They've cut into the Bible. And they've just inserted two bits of steel. Now, I'm sure somewhere along the line, the idea is to make it stronger. <laughs> yeah, look, I'll give you a close-up. I mean, <laughs> look at it. Now... <laughs> Well, it, it, it's I've never I've never seen anything like this, and you can see the way it looks like it's been bashed in there. You know, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> um, I mean, it, I'm lost. I mean, it's got this on it. Look, anti-drill break-off system. Yeah, I'm not so sure that's what that is. Anti-plug pull, anti-pick with a bobby pin. Anti bump with a claw hammer. I mean, it is really interesting that we've gone from this key, which is an illusion of security, to anti bump with a claw hammer and anti pick with a bobby pin. <laughs> and two bits of metal stuffed in the lock. So there we go, people. Oh, I'm losing my voice here. I hope you've enjoyed that. I certainly did. Um, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, help support the channel. I'm trying to offer something a little bit different to the lock picking YouTube community. And with your support, I can carry on. Without it, I can't. <laughs> um, the next video. If you're a professional locksmith, it could change the way you work. I'm serious. I put a lot of work into it. I was sent some prototypes and it's actually incredible. So that should be out maybe in less than a week. I've already, like I say, I've already been working on it. But anyway, there you go. I hope you got something out of that. Ask any questions in the comments. If you know any, if, if I missed anything there that you know about, let me know because <laughs> I'm bamboozled by it all. Look after yourselves, people. Take care. Ta-da!